Ah, okay. No sound effects, actually. Yeah, let me put this one on. Just for you, baby girl. All right, yeah, quick throwback, y'all. You know, but I'm not going to talk too long about this because it's one of those things where, you know, as a stan of Sasha Banks, I should be so pissed off. I should be so angry about this. But what the hell is that going to (laughs) do? I mean, if history has taught us nothing, we know WWE is going to push who they want to push. They're going to do what they want to do regardless. Now. Um, shout out to I Am The Zane If you haven't seen his Raw review I would definitely check it out The dude dropped a lot of good hints about You know, the Samoa Joe debut And a lot of other stuff that I'm just not Into really speaking about um, I want to talk about the burial of Sasha Banks And just go Whoa Whose dick did she not suck? Because oh my god <laughs> Now, this isn't because she lost to Nia Jax, because realistically speaking off the top of the head, she should have lost to Nia Jax. The woman's on one leg, can barely move, can barely do anything at all, storyline-wise. So, there was no way she was going to beat someone twice her size. The only There's only two people who I could realistically see beating down someone twice their size and make it look realistic enough. Chris Benoit and Stone Cold Steve Austin. You know, um, that's about it off the top of the head. Um, I'm sure it's been done. Maybe Ken Shanrock, but it's like Sasha beating Nia Jax cleanly. Nah, even on both legs, it's not believable. Like there, there's no one on the women's roster anywhere except maybe Awesome Kong or if you were to bring back Jazz, Jazz would give her a fight, but you know, weight classes exist for a reason. I mean, nobody could realistically beat Nia Jax in a fight as far as the divisions go. So I'm not I'm not upset about that. I'm upset about damn, man, the way y'all making Sasha just damn, man. What did she do, man? <laughs> this is pretty fucked up on so many levels, man, that you're taking a damn superstar and doing her like this. And like, you know, people that well, WWE does it all the time. They they see a big star and they pull the rug from under them just to see how, how they respond. And I don't see them doing that to, to Charlotte because, you know, people want to claim that Charlotte is this big star. I don't see them doing that to her or um, who else is a so-called big star. Rollins, uh, well, he got injured. So I guess that was a rug and pull from under him. Balor, same thing. Uh, Roman Reigns, he smoked some weed or he did some shit, but I don't see them purposely pulling a rug from underneath him. But they just gotta go after Sasha, huh? It's just, man, it's some bullshit, man. Like y'all could have kept her off of TV, man. Like I, y'all don't even have to have her on Raw. Let her heal up from her knee, cause this shit is just, ugh. This shit is booty, man. How does this help Nia Jax? You're stalking and beating down a one-legged woman. That's like four is going to fall on Lieutenant Dan just to fight him and beat him down. As funny as that would be, Lieutenant Dan, I'm tired of push-ups you was making me do, nigga. Ah, slap the shit out of his head. Like, I mean, y'all get what I'm saying. Man. It's like, it, it's, it's funny, but it, it, you don't take it seriously. I'm supposed to take you seriously as a competitor? When you're beating up a one-legged, I mean, Brock Lesnar made it look at least, you know, because Brock Lesnar was brutal with how he did it, you know. Lesnar was like, this dude is out of his mind. He has no regard for human life. He'll beat you up in front of your mama. He don't care, man. That that That's the type of shit, you know, it was savage when Lesnar did it, but Nia just obsessed. Stalking this one-legged woman. It's like, come on, B. Why are you... You know, if you're really this dominant force and everything, why don't you just run through Bailey? Why don't you just run through Charlotte? Why don't you just run through everybody? And then when Mick Fuller said, he said, hey, we got you on a raw contract. We got you on raw, raw exclusive. You run through them, too. You the juggernaut, bitch. That's what you're supposed to tell them. And you're supposed to go over to SmackDown and run through them, too. Why don't you do all that shit if you're this big juggernaut type of chick? 
But no, you gotta just bully the same. This is why it's so tough to take Nia Jax seriously. From an in ring standpoint, I don't know who she is. She has a new finishing move every damn match she has. Well, she expanded her arsenal. Yeah, she's not given a chance to showcase her arsenal because all she does is squash people. And I get it. But at the same time, it's like, what's her personality? You know, is she just, you know what? Is she going to adopt uh, Monique, the comedian? Uh, skinny women are evil. Because <laughs> that would be funny as hell, but dope as hell. Because she would get all the big girls on her side. The skinny women are evil character. That shit would be crazy. That shit would be funny as hell. It could be done in a serious. It's almost like CM Punk being straight edge. Where he could be tongue in cheek with it. But at the same time, he could be this lethal, hard, you know, asshole about it. So, yeah, you've got the uh, skinny women are evil side that could be funny and comedic. Why y'all always take us to the mall? And y'all try to walk 20 miles. Like, y'all, we can't walk that fast. You could do that in a comedic way. But you could also do it in a serious way. Like, Naya's crushing on uh, Neville or uh, Big D Langston. I don't fucking know. She crushing on somebody. And some array skinny ass come and get them, man. She go on this skinny women or evil rant. It, you could do that in so many ways. That's from a comedic standpoint, but what's her character? What is she? Mickey James, when she first came through the dough, had a character. She was obsessed with Trish Stratus to the point where it's psychologically, you had psych people, people in, in college doing psych degrees watching raw because they wrote it so well i don't know if they knew they were writing it well but a lot of people were fucking with it on that level um what are y'all doing with sasha banks what is she just there because you don't have no one else on that because that bailey versus charlotte feud was huff as fuck and i told y'all it was gonna be I told y'all, and y'all, y'all Charlotte fans, no, man, just, just wait, nigga, just wait, nigga, just watch. I told y'all that shit wasn't going to be worth watching, y'all. I told y'all it was going to be a waste of time, and it was going to further prove who the leader was. And now we see once again, like, for real, on so many damn levels, man. But y'all refuse to push this girl. What the fuck is wrong with y'all? I know the Royal Rumble has been for the last five years the pay per view used to troll fans. This is the this is the pay per view where you get catfished, you know, where you get this picture of this hot chick you taking her on a date and you show to the movie theater and she's just like super heavyweight Yoko Zuna looking bitch. That that that's what the Royal Rumble is, man. You think you're getting what you want and then reality hits you and you're just like fuck, man. How did I not see this coming? How did we not see this coming? This is the pay-per-view where they give us the bird. If you're a fan, you getting the bird. They're going to give you the finger and laugh. They did it last year with the whole Roman Reigns and, and authority shit. They did it the year before that when Roman Reigns actually won a thing. And them crazy white people in Philadelphia were flipping cars and boxing in the locker room so they couldn't even leave the arena. They did it the year before that with the Daniel Bryan and Batista thing, all that other shit. This is the troll pay-per-view. They troll the shit out of us on this pay-per-view. And then on Raw, Sasha going to job again. I'm telling y'all, man, because they're going to just do a rematch because, oh, 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 y'all Sasha fans didn't see it. Well, we're going to do it one more time. I got one more for you. Guarantee you. I'm, I'm going to post this shit after Raw go off there just to make sure I'm correct. So y'all motherfuckers can say that, oh, damn, how did he see that coming? Of course he saw it fucking coming. Of course he saw it coming, man. This shit, man. Oh, my God. Like, right, right when this shit went down, I said, I know this is going to happen. I already know it's going to happen. I said, you know what? Let's watch Raw and see what happens. The Sloppy Joe shit is the Sloppy Joe shit. I'm not necessarily tripping about the shit. I ain't watched Raw yet. I've heard about it, but it's just like, y'all really must not like Sasha. <laughs> I don't know who she pissed off, but damn. Y'all just don't want to push.